<laughs> All right, looks like we're good. All right, I'm online and ready to go, I think. Yeah, things are looking pretty good. All right, let's go. So let's see here. Um, I have in mind today to work on my 3D CAD stuff. Specifically, I want to port over, um, well, port is maybe the wrong word. I want to build out this SCAD code to work with uh, the rest of the Forge library so that I can build an SCAD and SVG exporter with the same 3D data. That's the, that's the goal here. And it seems achievable. I just have to make sure things line up the way I need and do everything properly. So in order to get there, I want to actually load file. I just want to kind of make sure things are working kind of situate my in my head where uh, my code base is at because I haven't touched the forge stuff in a little while and I want to make sure things are in uh, things are moving forward so Okay, that loads, which is really good. And now let's load forge slash compile slash scad. Okay, so there's no syntax errors or anything like that. Everything's defined. Now I want to uh, see if it works. <laughs> That's the trick, right? That's always the trick. Okay, so let's do a little sandbox. Um, call it scratch instead, I guess. It's a namespace for uh, playing around with functions. Closure. Closure, please. There we go. Uh, forge dot scratch is good enough and we can do a fancy require fancy in quotes <laughs> uh, and we're gonna require forge dot compile dot scad as scad uh, but we also want to require oops um, forge dot model as M DL. I think that's a good idea. Let's see. Okay, so that's a circle. Nice. And let's do sphere. Working more or less, at least that part is. Let's do um, scad slash write scad model slash circle. Okay, promising. Um, trying to think a little bit about how let's make a um, in SCAD here let's make a little tools thing at the end um, oh and we'll make a show function uh, like this, def and show, 
Um, and it's going to take... Block. Let me uh, pull up SVG to see how things go as well. Okay, I forget how I made the how exactly I made the show tool, but I want it to kind of have a similar. Oh, I should call it cider show, shouldn't I? I think I think that's probably wise to do that. Right, so. Instead of SVG data, it's going to be CAD data, I guess. Model data. Uh, that's probably fine. So let's do let f name be image temp.png data if. Oh, in this case, I don't need an if, actually. I just need it to be. Actually, that's super easy. I can get rid of that entirely. Inside the let now, I just have to do um, how do I want to do this? What's a clever way? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Let me think for a second about this. Yeah, it's going to be do shell open SCAD something or other, blah, blah, blah. And then it's also going to be closure.java.io slash file f name. And that's what it ends on so that it will show in the REPL when you actually eval. <clears throat> so. So using that, well, now I have to fill out this line. And I have something in the scripts. Oof, scripts. Dot, there we go. Uh, it was somewhere in here, I do believe. don't exactly remember <laughs> that's the trick here uh, right so um, this thing here is a start actually that's basically what I need um, let's build this out as a little Hmm. Actually, let me save myself the trouble and do this. Okay, so this takes uh, model data. This should be. Oh. How do I want to do this? Hope uh, everyone is doing well, by the way. I uh, uh, Let me see that the bot's working. Yeah, things are good. Yeah, had a nice long weekend. I hope if other people had a good weekend too, that things went well, that you had nice plans or a nice relaxing time, all that good stuff, you know? Uh, right, so we've got to get to a visual. That's, that's what I'm trying to get at here. Right, so let's assume that this is going to be good, although let's make this 600, 600 instead. So it's a smaller image. Green screen is okay for now, though I probably want to change that 
Um, Uh, let's not worry about that too much right now. Um, the color scheme probably shouldn't be deep ocean. I think I want it to be Nord if I switch from green screen, which actually, you know what, I may as well, because it'll look a little nicer, assuming it's a real one, that's all. Um, all right, so let's load file. Ooh. No function in this context. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have this defined yet. So let's pop that like that. Well, naturally, I need that. Um, let's see. I just want to say, by the way, uh, maybe there's no one hearing it at the moment. Maybe someone will hear it later. I don't know. But thanks, people who keep following and subscribing and that sort of stuff. It's really helpful for the channel. And I'm uh, genuinely happy when people are interested enough in what I'm doing to give a follow. So if you haven't, consider doing that. It would be really cool. And if you have, thanks very much. I appreciate it a lot. All right. Um, so. I need, I think it's closure.java.shell refer, oops, refer sh. I think that's right, but I don't remember. <laughs> yes, okay, promising. So let's try to use cider show now with scad slash cider show. And the data I want to pass to it is uh model slash sphere sphere 20 it didn't work all right so that means something's wrong with oh well this doesn't do anything so that's your first problem <laughs> my first problem uh right i have to call png with f name file name and model data which, while I'm here, let's turn this into model data like that. I should maybe write down kind of the rules and stuff for how I name things so that I force myself to be a little more consistent. Uh, ignore. Let's see if we can run this again after we load it again. Not quite, okay. I wonder if it's not waiting at all. Bluetooth file exchange, let's close that. I don't know why that's open. There we go. Um, Right, let's pop into Dev Forge. Okay, so now we have to test the PNG file, or uh, we have to just test things a little bit. So let's do A is sphere 100 model. That should be good. Let's just have a quick peek at A. Yeah, it's a sphere, nice and simple. So if I write, uh, if I do scad slash write scad of A, it does produce a sphere. It's promising. Uh, so PNG. Test dot png of a. Oh, uh, 
Um, unknown color scheme. Ah, oh, it's a capital N. Well, that's silly. That's such a small problem. That's okay. That means it's a quick fix. Oop. Please. There we go. Um, right, so let's load this. Exit zero. Okay, that's promising. Now let's try Cider Show. A. Hmm. So it's a valid image. And why is, oh, right, of course. I have to do um, a cider toggle. forget what it's called um, shoot <laughs> um, something with headers uh, enable header mode um, I don't remember um, I have a note about it, I think, in here. REPL toggle content types. Okay, there we go, enabled. I should turn that into a default config thing so that this doesn't become a problem. Let's try that. Yes, it worked. Okay, that's really cool. Um, I like that a lot. Now let's actually bump this number down a little bit. Let's do 400 by 400, I think. That should be pretty good. The only brief thought I have is um, uh, image magic chroma key. I think there might be a way to make it transparent, which would be cool. might be more trouble than it's worth.
green screen background. Alpha determination. Okay. Hmm. Convert channel alpha FX. I mean, let's see what happens if I do that. I have no idea if it's going to work, but may as well, may as well try, right? Uh, let's swap to green screen for a moment. Uh, there we go. Ooh, uh, right. Wrong namespace. No problem. All right, save that. And let's load the file again. That should be bright green. Yep. It's perfect. <laughs> it's blindingly so. So now I wonder if I should, if I would be able to make this work. So let's see. So let's convert image channel alpha fx k0 times b minus k1 times g plus k2 uh, out dot png. I have no idea if that's going to work. Undefined variable k0. It didn't work. Okay. Well, let's have a little peek here. Hmm. is more trouble than it's worth maybe hmm it's pretty cool huh okay well let's see Let's see, image magic undefined variable, variable, variable please, <laughs> uh, k not. yeah. I'm sure that's not, it's not helping me, image map effects. I feel like I'm close and I'm going to give up soon because it's not worth the trouble, but I'll give it one minute more of consideration here. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I see. There's, I'm supposed to fill those in myself. I see. I have to do this. Oops. Let's do one like this. I have to provide the numbers. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. This is not going to be right. Yeah, it didn't really do anything. So let's try. Oops. Blue, zero. Green, one. Uh. Okay, uh, it's not worth the trouble. Yeah, that's not going to be worth it. So I'll just stick with Nord like this. Because that should look pretty good. Oops. There. Right, let's just make sure that's working the way I want. Good. Good, good, good. Mm. I have even one more thing that might make this a little nicer still. I think if I don't specify a camera position, it will automatically uh, fit, do a fill. Like it'll automatically fill the, yeah, it'll kind of zoom in automatically. So that should work for like if I do um, model sphere, oops, uh, even two, right? That should, yeah. And if I do 2000, 20,000 even. Yeah, it looks all the same. So that's good. Um, let's see here. Right, so we've got a viewer kind of thing. That's nice. But now what would probably be a good idea is... Um, hmm. What should I do next? That's my question. That's my question. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I want to build out something a little more substantive to test around here. So, hmm, what's maybe a good... Well, actually, let's load up another. Uh, find. Raspberry Pi. Let's open that up. <laughs> uh, got. Let's see, let's do this this way. Um, what's the smartest thing here? Uh, yeah, let's just do it the quick way. Source, design. Oh, I don't remember what I was doing with all that. Uh, okay, well. <laughs> Let's try. Right, let's just go do this. We'll use this plate thing as a reasonable start. Okay, let's see what loads and what doesn't and fix it up from there. Oh, I do need this for sure. OK, 
Okay, so some of this is not going to work, and we'll just fix it up. Translate. Of course, none of it's going to work. I need to do all of this, right? I need to add model slash like that. No such var model slash cube. Really? Um. Oh yeah. Um. Right. Box, box, whoops. Hey, there we go, we got something there. And now plate, same problem, of course. Let's do the fillet stuff, model this, model that, model that. Oops. And, ooh. Quick, clean. <laughs> rough around the edges not very clean that's okay color this color thing we can just get rid of don't need it oops and model translate box do read or add doesn't exist yes that's right so that'll come from So I've got in a few spots these here. So this is just going to be proto slash two radians. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that's working. Now, moment of truth. <laughs> Uh, plate. Let's do a uh, cider show plate. I think it won't work. I also need to do um, SCAD slash cider show plate. Right, so there's some things wrong with the implementation, and I have to figure that one out. So, hmm. Let's see how we can do that. So if I do plate, boy, oh boy, complicated. Uh, right. Where are we gonna start with this one, huh? Oof, excuse me. Okay. 
Okay. Um, to try find the minimal thing that fails and go from there. I think. That I think that could be helpful. So let's define B as model slash translate. Uh, okay. So let's try scad slash write scad of B. Okay, already we've got a problem here. So that I think relates to this here. So if I were to do this, um, copy this def c as this thing, and then get rid of the nesting here by cheesing it a little bit. Oh no, I've ruined it. Okay. C is this thing, no nesting, no list of objects inside the translate. Then if I write SCAT of C, that still doesn't work. Oh, okay. All right, so we gotta go right into this and figure out what's happening, huh? That should be fun. I don't expect I, I'm not too surprised because uh, this was a. Uh, I didn't actually do all that much work on it yet, anyway, so it's pretty fresh. Um, let's have a peek at transforms. Okay. Have a look at how translate works. Um, depth. Oh yes, I believe if I get rid of the depth call, that would actually... Oh, excuse me. I'm just thinking through this for a second. Yeah, if I were to do something like this, def c, and then actually do write expression, indent level, oh, uh, sorry, scad slash write expression, indent level zero, c, hmm. Okay, so it's the correct, so there's a few things going wrong, I guess, is the moral of this story. Uh, let's see here. Oh, wait a second, is depth supposed to be a string? I see. Okay. Oops. So the depth thing kind of has to stay. Although not really. Um shoot, I'm a little bit lost as to where to go next. Let's try right SCAD of just
Okay, so it does work for a box. And the reason for that is I guess I did start changing over some of this stuff. Yeah, so box turns into cube. Okay, so that does work anyway. Um, why would the other stuff not work? That's my question. Write block, make arguments. Yeah. Hmm. This is the whole thing. I'm going to ignore that for now. Uh, why am I having a hard time with this? <laughs> if I do um, write expression, indent zero of model slash box 20, 30, 40. That actually makes sense, right? Let's try a sphere. Yeah, okay, it just, so I have to apply um, string join to that. So if I were to do like this, string slash join, the result of that, um, Closure dot string. Yeah. Okay, so that's fine. Kind of, anyway. It's working the way I want it to, I think. Translate depth form This should this form kind of should be like this, right? Because it's unused in there. Uh I'll leave it alone for now.
see about this on SCAD CLJ. I wonder if I'm missing this. Is that? Let's see here. Um, Oh here, yeah, this is this is supposed to work. Um well actually let me see. So if I do B draw two of B oops and I get Right expression x burr like this scad slash right expression of drop two of b indent zero. Okay, it worked as a list item. Okay, so hmm, that doesn't seem to be the problem, but if I do just B, then it is a problem. Nth not supported on a persistent array map. So there, it just seems like there's a misalignment of variables being expected, um, maybe. <sighs> Form, oh, th it's right here. This is the problem. This has to be a map. That's what it is. So this should work if I switch this to be something like this. Oh, shoot, that sucks. Why? There. Form, keys, x, y, z. That should fix that. I think, let's see. Up to load file. Oops. Oh, sorry, everyone. Source forge. Um, compile scad.cljc. Now. Ah, there we go. That works now. Uh, right? I think so. SCAD Cider Show B. Oh, it worked anyway, but left an error. So that's not great. Why would that be? bizarre to me but I'll ignore it for now um, let's do this uh, scad slash cider show um, model translate model slash circle cylinder
Okay, that worked. All right, we're getting somewhere. That's nice. Hopefully. Let me make sure that I have um, in the SCAD compilers here. This is based off of Matthew. What's what's the user's name actually? Matthew Farrell. Cube is box, extrude, linear is just extrude. Um, extrude, rotate, I think, what do they call it? Um, uh, let's see. Uh, search extrude dash linear extrude dash rotate yeah extrude linear extrude rotate those are the two and I've changed their names to um, revolve um uses vectors instead of lists more pickup like as the um, expert data uh, structure I think that's all or that's fundamentally it for now um, I might get rid of the indent although the it is pretty nice to at least give the option of readability uh, to users. Um, Some SCAD specifics are removed. Um, this is to um, have one-to-one. -one. What's, how do I describe this? Um, to have one-to-one -one language for all 3D exported or for all compilation targets. So for example, um, FN is not used because it uh, does not have an equivalent in FreeCAD. Solid works, etc. Uh, right, so that's good enough for now. Um, as an explanation, I think it's okay. I uh, hope everyone's doing well, by the way. If you're uh, just tuned in or just relaxing but want to know or hear more about what's going on, feel free to talk in the chat, ask questions, all that good stuff. I uh, do my best to answer things and or point people in the right direction if I don't know an answer myself. Let's see.
Du, 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 du. Right. Onward, 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 onward. So what I know I need to do for a few of these <clears throat> is just change this signature to have this instead of um, just the, oop, turn this, yeah, yeah, it, simple enough. So this here, for example, rotate V. Um, Right, let's define something new here. C is model slash rotate. Ooh, this is, I'm gonna have to change this, I think. Uh, let's rotate um, 90 on X and zero and zero like this. And we'll do a model slash cylinder, the radius of 10 and a height of 50. Yes, that should be good. So we've got rotate C here, and it is of the variety. Where this actually, it looks exactly the same as this. So we'll copy that. Paste Dorino. And I'm pretty sure this here is gonna be like that. So let's actually double check that and we'll do that by using the different signature here. Yes, we've got it. Okay, so let's load the change and do cider show C close. Okay, so it works. Why is Z the thing that's causing issues here? That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, pfft. that's why, because I, being a goose, everything's fine. <laughs> No errors other than human errors, of course. Uh, so that's working. Wait, is it Rotate V that's working? Yeah, Rotate V is working. And now let's just def this with the other call signature, just to make sure that that's also working. It looks good so far. And let's even double check it with a different rotate here. We'll do 45. Yes. Perfect. That is really quite good. Um, now, 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 we keep going. Scale. Yeah, 
same thing. Mirror, hull, offset. This probably has to be like this. Okay, so using that, I think, oops. I think if I do this, I should be able to view Wait. Ah. I mean, kind of. <laughs> it's wrong, but it's promising. Question mark. Hmm. Well, so one thing we know is it is uh, uh, compiling, so that's plus. I wonder, I wonder if this is related to, well, what could it be related to? Uh, first thing that comes to mind is it's related to the rotation and switching these from radians to degrees. It, I might have um, just left it like this instead, but I'm not 100% on that, to be honest. Uh, That could be something. Yeah, let's try it. Let's, I mean, why not, right? Got a got an idea. May as well poke around and see what's up. Two seventy like that. All right, let's try again. Didn't seem to make the difference. Hmm, okay, so let's pare it down and simplify. That's always a good idea. Uh, right, so. would appear well actually I just realized something I could do um, scad slash right right scad of plate doesn't exactly make things readable to me here um, Let's get rid of, or get rid of, let's comment out a bunch of this stuff for now. How about that? That works for me. I think that's a smart idea. Difference. Yes, that's all fine. That should all be fine. Okay, let's comment out everything except one fillet and see what's going on, right? Um,
Um, what could be the problem? What could be the problem? Beep, 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 beep. I wonder if it's the rotate function. Maybe there's something wrong with the implementation. Let's have a little peek at this and try that again. Nope. Translate, maybe? Perhaps? Uh, no. Hmm. Fillet tool. Let's assume for a moment that the fillet tool is in the right spot. something crazy like that why don't we oh it's not it what am I missing what am I missing Okay, so the width divided by two, well, hmm. Oop, negative two, let's try that. Okay, so it cuts through. Uh, Cider show. Fillet tool. Let's give it a big radius and a height of 20. certain what's happening here that's the thing <laughs> uh, box I wonder if it's not centered by default I kind of think actually that translates not working the way I think it is Let's define A to be model uh, union of model sphere two, three, and model translate ten, twenty, thirty of model box where the box has dimensions 20, 40, 60. Cider show A. Hmm. 
let's translate zero 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 and see what's up with that. Ah, okay. So one of the problems I have um, box should be um, to match SCAD CLJ. The box should be centered at zero zero as by default, and that's currently not happening. So I have to fix that. Um, here, for example, that should be when center. Wait a second, there's, how did they do that then in cube? Oh, right, so I actually would have to go all I have to do is um, in the model, right? Oop, no, 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 model, 3D, X, Y, Z, yeah, 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 and then key center true. Oop, that should, if I now load file, source forge, model.cojc and then now I do this uh, oh I have to redef a right now if I def a and translate 10 20 30 now it should look yes Okay, that's a step in the right direction, for sure. So using that, uh, I wonder what will happen now. If I have a little peek at my scratch here. Redef all that. What's going on now? Oh, I think there's a corner cut there. And I have to move this like that. And I think that might actually be exactly what I was looking for. That's looking more correct. So let's go ahead and uncomment all of these, at least. So close, but so far, uh, there's something going wrong with the rotates and everything. Uh, yeah, probably now, probably I have to switch these back to their uh, radian counterparts, which should be okay. Better, but not perfect, but okay. Let's go with it. Okay, promising. The mount holes, I think, are in the correct position, but they look a little off. Something looks wrong. By the way, this is, uh, do I have it here? Where is it? This is just the uh, some basics for Raspberry Pi. I intend to make kind of a whole 3D model of it, but the plate is a reasonably good test. It's not too complicated, but it's got a few uh, structures about it that would be good to test this port. So I'm using the mount holes as kind of a they look correct positionally and I have some fillet tool that I made and those are the things I'm poking around at they're not uh, they don't work yet obviously so I need to figure out a little bit more detail uh, if I do fillet tool 
the radius of 20 and the height of 20. Let's do 50. Uh, okay, so the cylinder, I think probably has a when center true and a default center true. So I would need to go up back to the model. Like this. Center true by default. Easy enough. And now let's load the file. There we go. That's more that looks more correct. Oh. Oh, uh, maybe I have to redef it. Let's try. Hey, yes. Okay. I think I think we're in the we're in the money here with a good working um, implementation. I think Um, model group A, B. Get rid of B and do model translate. Uh, sphere radius is three. Oh, that's maybe group doesn't actually do anything. Uh, translate it six zero zero A. What? I mean, it kind of worked. What did I mess up here? I think something's going wrong here. Right expression. Oh, it does work. Uh, don't need the right expression. I need right SCAD. Yeah, okay, it does kind of work. Oh, so A also, I see being a little bit silly. So A is more than just a sphere. Oops. Right, so now now I'll be right back and think about what I should work on next.
that's a good idea. Won't be long. Won't be long. All right, um, probably only gonna go for another half hour or so. Uh, wanna do a few other things off stream, so that should be, that should be the status of things. Um, I wonder now what I should do. I think it would be a good idea, uh, oop. There, um, to pop into let's actually close this. Let's go in here and start. No, I don't, I don't know about that. Um, Let's see here. Let's try uh, closure make uh, parser. My goodness, <laughs> uh, this might be a little beyond the scope of what I'm doing. The reason I'm looking at this at all is because the idea that uh, I would eventually want to have importers for things like SCAD files or other scripts. And in order to do that and get things into the 
uh, forward model, you have to be able to parse um, other language files and get like the uh, syntax tree out of it, basically. Um, whether or not that means I should ultimately have a different data structure than the vectors, uh, maybe that comes into play, but I'm not going to worry about that for the moment. I think I'll be okay. Let's see here. Let's see what people recommend for setting up parsers anyway. to parse I'm concerned that insta parse doesn't work with babashka though I think it does not although insta parse is the one I keep hearing about and I've used it before a little bit and it's nice I'll uh, cross that bridge another time how about that deal with that one later uh what would be good? What would be good? Let's start to think a little bit about, let's uh, close this one. Whoops. So we're in forge, right? Let's look briefly at the idea of a compiler for SVG. Do something like that. Uh, oops, I need a new heading SVG. Compile SVG. Java shell. I don't think I need that, but I'll keep it in for now. Two rad, two degrees. Let's assume I need that. I'm sure I'll need a bunch of other stuff, but let's also just get in here svgclj.elements as svg svgclj.path as path um, shouldn't really need SVG CLJ tools in this particular namespace. Uh, we got path, oh, and transforms, of course. Um, transforms as TF. Compile.svg. Okay, promising, as in things are kind of, <laughs> we've got something working. Uh, so let's Oh, I uh, have to make this SVG. Yes, right? Yeah. Um, so the first thing I'd want to do Oh, how do I want to go about this? That's really the this might be tricky. Um, there's kind of two ways I could go about it, or a few ways, I mean. Um, I could project everything into 3D. I 
I could um, do a projection and make a kind of SVG slice. I could give it, like I could make it an XY planar. Hmm. Let's start with let's start with some 3D projection stuff and keep it a little bit simple. How about that? I think that should be manageable. Um, I'm probably oversimplifying this in my head, but I got to start somewhere. So. Okay, so to do this, Well, let's start with right expression. Def multi, right expression. It's going to take uh, no depth. It's not form, it's just going to be key. Sorry, I actually should call it tag, I think. One second, I have um, SVG. Let's see. Um, I want to use the same kind of approach I did here. So if I look at centroid def multi function element if keyword first element then it's a list yeah Keyword first element. Yeah, that works for me. I also realize actually I don't I don't want it to be right expression I want it to be um, it 
It's like a, I, I want to transform the three D model data into SVG hiccup data. So I should call it def multi. Um, write expression. Um, convert element. Model to SVG. to SVG. I don't know what to call it. Hmm. LM2 SVG is fine. Oops. I guess that's okay. It's better than nothing. Um Right. So utility indent right block. know that I need a right block. Um, I might actually, I probably do. Right block equivalent, we'll put that right in here actually. So we'll call it um, Mapcat write expression onto block, but it'll be mapcat lm to svg over block. I guess that works. Um, Fine for now. Okay, so this module stuff. Ooh, that's all gonna be tough to work with, but I'll have to get all that later. This again I won't really need. Nor this necessarily. We'll start with 2D implementation and go from there. Right, that seems reasonable. Copy this, SVG. Okay, so we've got uh, LM to SVG circle, 
that's going to be something. Then the same with rectangle, and the same with polygon. And project. Ooh, that's going to be a fun one, huh? Uh, boy, oh boy. Let's just focus in on the idea of circle. Well, the very obvious thing to do is like the very first thing that comes to mind is this circle. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. It would be like this. It would be uh, SVG slash circle R. That's the simplest possible thing, and it's kind of right. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess that, that kind of makes sense. That kind of works. But we don't need depth either. Whoops. Undo. What? What just happened? Looks correct to me. Rectangle. Yeah, that works, kind of. So these are not really considering the 3D projection elements of things yet, but I'm going to solve that one as I go along because uh, I don't know exactly what I want to do with all that stuff yet anyway. So let's just do the easy stuff and start figuring out the challenges as, I, as they arise. So polygon points paths convexity let's have a look here let's go to svg slash polygon and see it just takes points so 
really all we need is something nice and simple. It's just going to be SVG slash polygon. And it's going to have I realize actually, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ooh. so points, paths, and convexity. So the points and paths I actually have to do more than just pass the points in this case. So what I need to do is for each path, I need to, yeah, actually this, I have to do this a little bit differently. It actually has to be, uh, I'd have to use the path call uh, path slash polygon path yeah I have to I have to merge all of those and then uh, Yeah, actually, let's do it this way. Let's get a let in there. So, um, let's let polygons be the result of for path in paths. Path is you're gonna need uh, map v. That doesn't matter. Map get from points the index from path. So you should have at least one point set then what you do is um, path slash merge paths of apply merge paths to map uh, path slash polygon path to polygons. That should work. Um, let's see. Let's just make sure the right functions here are here. Merge paths, yeah, and paths. I could actually just do this. I don't need the apply there. And that should work, yes. I think. Let's try. Uh, Open SCAD polygon example. What's all this? Huh, that's pretty cool. I just want Oh, 
there's another thing that's going to be wrong with this, actually. Um, no, maybe it'll, uh, maybe it'll be fine. Um, open this CAD cheat sheet. I forget if Polygon takes 2D or 3D points. I think it's 2D points, but I, now that I think about it, I don't remember. Yeah, points 2D. Points or points and paths. Yeah. Well, let's see here. If I do... Um, If I do just a list of points, oops, I need to add one little thing to this here to the model polygon here. Paths is actually just going to be um, range count points. And that should work, right? Because, so let's say uh, def A is this list of points that I defined here, 0, 0, 10, 0, 10, 10, range count A should be 0, 1, 2, and that is exactly the indices you need to get this whole thing. Uh, and then it should work perfectly, perfectly well with the implementation I've got. So that seems promising. And project, I don't know about that one. Um, that's going to be, I think, a little tricky, actually, because I'll probably need some way. I'll need some way to slice a 3D model at any like at an arbitrary plane and calculate every single thing that intersects that plane and use that to generate an SVG path element from that slice then I can build project to be some default slice which I think is the bottom of whatever shape you've got or it's the zero zero uh, XY it's XY plane at the zero Z position something like that in any case, that is going to be all from me for today. Uh, nice two-hour stream, kind of getting my head back in the 3D game here. Uh, I'm going to keep working on this offline, and I'll be back streaming. Uh, normally Wednesdays, I take a day off, but I think, I think what I'll do is stream tomorrow a little bit because I missed Monday, and I'm kind of in a streaming mood, so... That is going to be all for me, though. Uh, thanks for tuning in if you're watching live. Thanks for tuning in if you're watching a VOD or something like that after the fact. Please consider like, follow, subscribe um, on YouTube. And also consider supporting the channel by using my Patreon or by subscribing on Twitch. Uh, those things actually make me a little bit of money. And with a little bit of money, I can up the production up the seriousness of how I do this and all that kind of stuff so if you want to be part of growing the channel please consider those things it would be really cool uh, that's all I've got though have a good day I'll be back again tomorrow I think bye bye <laughs>